What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Or welcome to your first time here. You know, if you've watched this channel for any length of time, you know I'm a big proponent of security. And I love security systems. I love cameras. I love different driveway alarms, different early warning devices, anything to increase my security. And I'm all up for trying that out to see how well that works. And it's going to become even more important as times get worse. You know, as the economy gets worse and people start having a more difficult time of making ends meet, a lot of people are going to resort to crime. And one of the most popular crimes is theft because people like to sneak in, they like to break in, they like to steal, and like to get away with that product, that thing you worked so hard to get yourself, they like to come in and steal that, take that away and use that for themselves or to sell that to get money to get currency, to get gold, silver, trade, barter, whatever, to get what they need. So people are going to resort to more and more crime, more and more break-ins, more and more property theft. So having an alarm system inside your home to alert you when someone breaks in, to having driveway alarms, for example, having camera systems is extremely important because it can alert you to someone's presence that you didn't know was there even when you are away, and they can allow you to identify those people, to prosecute those people, and hopefully to stop them before they even get on your property. Now, today we're going to be looking at the Norio 1080p wireless security camera. This camera here is a Norio. The company sent me this camera for review. It is a 1080p indoor and outdoor security camera. It has a really wide field of view. I don't know how wide the field of view is, but the field of view is totally awesome. I can put it mount it back here on my garage, on my uh, carport and it will show my whole front yard, my truck, part of the house, the garden beds. It's a very wide field of view so it will cover you know a wide area. And there is a alarm on this that if someone passes by you can set this sensitivity to be very sensitive or to be less sensitive. And it's made to just detect you know human beings for example over something like you know, a tree moving or a flag blowing or something like that. That's extremely important because you don't want to have a lot of false alarms. When you get an alarm on your phone through the app, you want to know that it's not just a false alarm and this is a tree blowing. You have to look at that and see that tree blowing or a flag blowing or whatever. When you get an alarm, it's going to be you know, somebody being on your property, inside your garage, inside your storage building or whatever. So, extremely important guys. It also has color night vision however you know to use that night vision it has a slight spotlight up here that will actually come on and light the area up so it will hopefully if the, when the light comes on it will scare whoever is trying to break in or whoever's in your yard away because it's a spotlight and it's fairly bright spotlight so that makes the nighttime image color however you know, if the light doesn't come on you just look through your app to look outside for example or to you know if you're somewhere else in another state another country wherever and you want to look at your property and you look at it at night and just look at the through the app it'll be in black and white however you can turn you know the spotlight on to make that color however that will also drain the battery much much quicker now guys like i said this is a 1080p wireless indoor outdoor security camera the setup was very easy you just Download the app, and there's a QR code on the back of the camera there. You scan that, and you put your Wi-Fi password in. It connects to your Wi-Fi, and you're good to go. It has 8 gigabytes of onboard storage, and that is, you know, so you can have video stored that this camera films locally on your camera. It's not stored in the cloud where someone can actually hack that and look at that without your knowledge. It's on the camera. It's on the internal storage inside the camera. And to me, I think that is a plus when it comes to security and privacy. Okay, guys, the way this camera works, there is an internal battery, and you plug that in to charge that up. And once it's charged up, the manufacturer says that it has 180 days of use, according to the manufacturer, after one charge. There's no solar panel at this time to charge this up with. However, the manufacturer told me that they're working on a solar panel plug into this to charge this up so the 180 days that the manufacturer says this once you charge this up all the way it's good for 180 days however in my opinion that would probably be if it wasn't used 
do is just stand by and stand by mold. If you take and you film with it a lot, there's lots of times when people's passing by and tripping this and causing this to come on. If you're having to turn the night vision light on, it's going to all drain the battery. So realistically, I would say about once every month, you'll need to take this and charge this up. But that really isn't that bad, guys, because, you know, it's quick. It charges in about four or five hours. And like I said, about once every month, you just take this down, take this in your home and charge this up. Or it's already in your home, you know, just take it and plug it in and get a full charge on this. I've had this up for about three weeks now. And when I charged this up, I charged it up to about 83%. It wasn't even full charge before I mounted this up at the try list. And now it's down to 78%. So very, very slow battery drainage, actually, guys. Very efficient, in my opinion. And another thing that this camera offers is two-way communication. You see there's a speaker here, so you can pick up sound. You can also, through your app and through your phone, you can actually talk to someone that's on your property. Say, for example, if the alarm goes off to alert your phone, you look at the app and you see someone on your property or inside your home, you can actually hear them, you can actually record them, you can actually talk to them also. So if they are, you know, in your driveway, for example, you can see and pull up, the camera will alert you through the app, and you can actually say, hey, what are you doing on my property, you're trespassing. Right now, I am calling the police. They'll be there just in a few minutes. So I'll advise you to leave my property now, for example. So anyways, guys, it comes with, like I said, several mounting options. This mounting option here is like a typical mounting option. It screws into the back of the camera there. And you screw this off here, put your screws through to like a wood surface, for example. This is another way you can do that. You can screw this on the wood surface, for example. And you put that on the back of this and just put this on and twist this and this mount like i said is a magnetic mount and it's extremely difficult to get off here with one hand guys but you can see there how it's on right now in the light you can see it came on because i triggered the alarm by doing that but you can see the mount here mount hold them out this and this here can be mounted on the back of this and you can just put this anywhere you want you can also put this like inside your home like that for example on a bookcase or whatever, and someone comes in your home, it will alert you also. And then when you come home, if you don't want this on while you're home, you can just turn this off. You know, put this in your garage, put this in your workshop, anywhere, indoors or outdoors, that will allow you to still get connect to the Wi-Fi wirelessly. And I found that mine connects anywhere here, close to my house, but if you get back behind my building over here, then... The building will actually block that Wi-Fi, so make sure you have a good Wi-Fi connection before you rely on this for your security. Okay, guys, here is my mounting option, and actually my favorite type mounting option because it's quick to take this down to the recharge. And you can see it's just stuck to the corner of my carport, and then the camera will stick onto the mount. And you can twist that around to adjust that, you know, any way you need that to be adjusted to get the best picture. And I like it up there like that in the corner because it is out away from the rain and the elements it is an indoor outdoor camera however you know you got it covered up in my opinion it's a better option than having that just out in the rain for example out in the snow and the freezing ice it's under something like this it's covered so i think it will last much longer okay guys this is a more permanent mounting option you can still take the camera off easily to take that in to charge it up for example but it's mounted on a mount like this right here you can see back here in the back and that is mounted to this post you know via screws so it's a more permanent solution i like the other solution better but again it would depend on your setup and you know what you have to mount this to where you want this camera to be mounted at and guys here's another way to use this camera stuck to you know this metal door this is inside my basement here on this metal door it just simply sticks to this you can see very secure and also put this on the outside but guys, so far this has been a great camera, great battery life, awesome battery life so far. Like I said, it's been about three weeks, and it's drained the battery down maybe 6%. I've not used the light that one time. I've turned this on several times to the app to look at night and during the day. And so far, the battery life has been fantastic. So hopefully, you know, you can get a month or more 
out of this before between each charging. And it has two-way communications, like I said, so if you see someone, someone trips your alarm and it goes off on your phone, you can look at that and you see someone in your yard inside your home, you can actually listen to the conversation they are having and you can actually talk through your cell phone through this camera, for example. Very good camera, very efficient camera so far, and many different mounting options. And right now, guys, at this point in time, it's one of my highest recommendations for you know a wireless security camera that is very, very easy to set up. Like I said, about five or 10 minutes set up, no problem at all. And I'm fairly dumb when it comes to setting these things up. I've had trouble before setting these cameras up, and this one is just pow, 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 set up and done. And so far, it's been absolutely fantastic. Recommend it. If you want to try one of these out, the link in the description box below. Thanks for watching. And a quick more out here, and I'll see you all in the next video, hopefully.